All right, Doug here with Yaskawa, and I've got uh, Trent. He's part of our aftermarket team. Um, and so, Trent, uh, common question I get is, all right, I'm getting ready to order this robot, or I just ordered this robot. Uh, what spare parts do I need to have, you know, on my shelf ready to go? So uh, how would you suggest answering that, or how do you answer that when it comes up? Yeah, that's a it's, it's a common question, and um, that's not you know it's not it's not a simple answer. Um, we, <laughs> uh, now, I wish we can you can you can find you can find a, a spare parts list online, yeah. um, or we can yeah. provide one. Uh, um, you know, reach out to one of your regional technical managers. Um, but you know, the question is, I can give you a list of spares, and then you know what will okay. There's a you know I, I you could buy everything on there, and you you would buy the robot again. Um, <laughs> And then some, um, and that's up, yeah. but, but, but really the question is what I, I like to look at what your downtime strategy is because, mm -hmm. yeah. um, it, you, you know, you have to know, uh, when, when I go into customers and talk about this, I like to talk about, okay, how, you know, what's your, um, you know, how much, wh when do you start shutting down your customer? What, how much downtime can you afford? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is, absolutely zero then you know i mean we up to including putting a whole a, a robot in stock as a spare but mm -hmm. realistically most people have an idea of what their downtime is and what i like to do when i look go over spares list with customers um is when i understand that you know we can go through that list and say okay these are the parts that a, a, a trained technician can can replace in about an hour and okay. those parts are the type of things that you want to keep in stock um, then there's parts um, that we look at that your robot's going to be down for, you know, a period of time, possibly a shift or longer, um, depending on this, you know, on the training level of, of your uh, of your your technicians. And at that point, then some of those parts you may want to keep in stock based on budget and um, and based on our stocking levels as well. And that's a that's a conversation you can have mm -hmm. with the uh, regional technical managers. Um, and then there's there's other parts such as harnesses and things like that where it's you know it's it's something that you're going to be down a period of time for but probably a good idea to have one of those on hand if nothing else for troubleshooting purposes as well so um so yeah when we talk about what spares to have in in stock i, I start with questions and immediately yeah, to, to really understand yeah. what what your you know what your downtime mitigation plan needs to be um, what kind of budget you have, and and some of that is you know determine your ROI on you know you know what what kind of investment we're going to make in downtime mitigation, um, and a lot of that you know we can't forget that training has to be part of that discussion. Um, Yaskawa's training for maintenance training. Um, uh, the the great thing about that is is that when you go through uh, things like that, you end up speaking the same terminology that our technicians would on the yes. phone or something like that and uh you know you know and, and also understand that architecture of the controller so you get you know you know a quicker response time but uh yeah when we talk about spares and things like that i, I really like to dig down into um what your you know wh where your pain points are and then underwrite that risk as best we can um within within your budget great great explanation there trent because it's uh i mean really to wrap it up it's uh it, it really points to the need or um you know kind of the recommendation to involve our team right the more you involve our team and and rtms like yourself then uh the easier it is for our customers um to figure out you know really what is needed from them and how much they can rely on us for because we've got a huge inventory of spare parts in our miamisburg facility to to help facilitate getting those um yeah uh getting you back and going you know whether it's a, a down issue or um, a shutdown issue and so yeah. uh, between just work with our rtm work with the trent as part of our company so uh, yeah. with that uh thank you very much trent appreciate the explanation and uh yeah hear from you more from you soon all right thanks doug